you look at the precipitation, this wet pattern that we've had looks to continue. So for Southeast Texas, above average uh, precipitation for the month of February. So this leads me to the drought monitor. When you look at the drought monitor, we have seen tremendous improvement in the state of Texas. It's really split to where you have New Mexico and also Louisiana all the way off into Alabama and then parts of uh, uh, Tennessee here where you're starting to see the worst of the drought. For Texas specifically, a, a tremendous amount of improvement here in the Hill Country. You still have an extreme drought for a good part of the Hill Country, but then for Southeast Texas, we are almost completely drought free from Lufkin into Palacios and this yellow color that you're seeing, that's abnormally dry. And this doesn't include the rain we received Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday of last week. It only includes the rain we received on Monday. So I have a feeling a lot of these places are gonna be completely erased. And uh, look at where we've been. You just look at four months ago where we had this extreme and exceptional drought compared to where we are today. And it really hasn't come a whole lot through just uh, flooding. Really the only flooding we saw was last week. It just We just turned into more of a rainy pattern, getting a consistent rain off and on. And you look at the last four months, the, the state, 12% of the state's in a severe drought, down from 61% four months ago, 3% extreme, down from 38%. No more exceptional drought in the state of Texas, which is great news, down from 13% uh, just four months ago. And you look at the improvement, and again, what you're seeing here is just a slow erosion of the drought from September, October, November into December. And of course, what you're going to see with the new drought monitor that's released on Thursday is I think you're going to see even more improvement, especially off here to the east, because a lot of these areas, look at Liberty County, for example, that saw anywhere from eight to 10 inches of rain. So uh, the, you need to end the drought. And again, this is looking at soil moisture to, to really get the soil back to average or normal. You need three to six inches to end the drought. And I think we got that from Tuesday into Friday of last week, six to nine still for the Hill Country. So they're going to still be in a little bit of a deficit. But it's been great news for the state of Texas. And we do have more rain in the forecast as we head towards Saturday. So enjoy the next three days, late Friday into early Saturday is our next round of rain. And it can again bring in some flood.